This is another one of our brains. This one shows the cranial nerves a lot better. And it also has some structures that we know have been tripping you guys up. So let me start with a few major structures. And if you want some of the, the lobes and some other structures on here that I don't talk about, check out the green brain video. We have our pons right here. And then our medulla oblongata is right in here. So from the pons, we can actually see right in here and right over here, those are the cerebral peduncles. So I like to think of it like the pons is reaching up for the cerebrum. And then over here, actually you can see it a lot better on this side. This is the middle cerebellar peduncle. So it's like the pons is reaching for the cerebellum. Just remember to always orient yourself anterior and posterior when you're looking at the brain. It helps you to become less confused. We've got anterior up here. So for those cranial nerves, I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna move backwards. Cranial nerves can be daunting. Just remember, they go roughly in order. So we're gonna start with this one. That is the olfactory nerve, cranial nerve one. The bulb at the end of it is the olfactory bulb, convenient name. Now, some of the paint has worn off, but we can see right here the optic chiasm and then the continuation of the optic nerves right here. So that's cranial nerve number two. So optic chiasm with the optic nerves. Now, I'm gonna have to take a piece out right here Let's see, let's take this guy. Well, we didn't need that, right? You don't need your cerebellum. So this branch right here that is more lateral, you guys see that in there? That is cranial nerve three, the oculomotor nerve. And then this more medial one right here is the trochlear nerve. So that's cranial nerve number four. I'm gonna put this back together here. And we've got cranial nerve five right here and also right here. And then six is right here. That's the abducent or abducens nerve. I don't think I mentioned the name of number five. That's trigeminal. So we go five, six, and then I'm actually gonna use this side. So five, six, here's seven and eight. So cranial nerve seven here is the facial nerve. Then just lateral to it is cranial nerve eight. That's vestibulocochlear. As we move inferiorly, we get this chunk right here, which has been confusing to a lot of people and I understand why. It looks like just a big chunk but there are three cranial nerves here. So there's a little divot right here that's dividing this one from this one. This one that's most superior is going to be number nine, glossopharyngeal. It is followed by cranial nerve 10, vagus, and cranial nerve 11, spinal accessory or just the accessory nerve. And then for number 12, we have to move medially again. This is the hypoglossal nerve. Don't get these two in the mix because that's gonna confuse you. These are both cervical nerves, so numbers one and two. They are not cranial nerves, so try to ignore them. They're just gonna confuse you more. Now, while we're in this region, I just wanna point out this pink structure right here that is called the olive, and then Right here, we have the pyramids. Now I'm gonna take this apart so we can see some things on the inside. So we have right here, you probably saw this on the other video if you have watched it. We've got the corpus callosum, which is like the ceiling of the lateral ventricle, which is in here. And then we've got the fornix, which is like the floor. So fornix, floor, 
corpus callosum, ceiling, and we've got the interventricular septum right here dividing the two ventricles. So imagine there's another ventricle right here just off the model where my fingers are. This would be your third ventricle, and this kind of egg-shaped structure is the thalamus, and the little yolk-like structure in the middle is going to be the interthalamic adhesion. Now up here, the pink part is the pineal body, and then the blue and red is the choroid plexus. I want to point out here, there's your anterior commissure, and there's your posterior commissure right alongside the pineal body or pineal gland. And then if I turn this just a bit, we've got a couple of bulbs right here. Those are our superior colliculus and our inferior colliculus. Now moving into the brain even further, so here's that space of your lateral ventricle and just appreciate how much space there actually is here. Would help if my finger wasn't in the way. There's some more space for you. This blue and red part is another choroid plexus. This back wall right here is the caudate nucleus. Now if I flip this just a little bit, this is the insula. Notice the texture is really different between the two. So if you're looking at the bumpy one, it's the insula. If you're looking at the smooth one, which is more medial, it's the caudate nucleus. Now a structure that a lot of people have had trouble finding is the hippocampus, because it's not super intuitive. It's not that easy to find. You are seeing the hippocampus right here underneath this choroid plexus. So if you see that ridge in there, and it's continuing up in here, that is the hippocampus. So those are some of the major structures of the brain. Check out the green brain video if you want to see another version of this.